Hello, Rec family. Uh, we're going to be doing our workout video today. Today is going to be slightly different than the last two I've done. Um, I'm going to show a exercise uh, routine that's going to be seated fully from beginning to end. And then I'm going to show a fitness routine without the chair that's going to be a little more challenging and difficult. So if you want the more difficult version of this abdominal workout, you can skip ahead to the part two of this video uh, where there's going to be no chair. And then the more simple or more modified version of this workout is going to be seated and that's going to happen right now. Okay, we're not going to do a warm up, an organized warm up today because we're just going to focus on our abdominals. If you have time, you can just pause this video and warm up with something that I've done before like jumping jacks or jogging in place. Uh, but for right now, we're going to jump right into it. All you need is a chair and a water bottle. I have a rather large water bottle today. You can do one of these large ones or two of the smaller ones, but I wanted to show you some different variations. So I have the larger one today. Okay, so we're going to jump into it and we're going to do oblique dips. Okay, an oblique dip or your obliques are right here in your abdominals. Okay. So how we get them is anything twisting or turning to the side is how you're going to reach those, okay? So in the seated position, we're going to grab that water bottle and we're going to do slight dips. We're going to dip down and bring it up just as easy as that. You want to avoid holding on to it, okay? Holding on to the chair. You want just your abdominals stretching to the highest amount and then retracting to the lowest amount. We're just going to repeat that motion. I'm going to go to the side real fast so you can see my posture. Do you see that I'm not slouched over? That I'm not arching my back. I'm remaining as straight as possible. You can kind of feel like a little teacup or a little teapot going side to side. You're going to get to 10 and you're going to switch the weight over to the other side and repeat the motion. One and two, you should be feeling right here. Three, pulling it and retracting it. Good. There you go, halfway. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next one and I'm actually gonna come back to this exercise in a little bit. Uh, we're going to do small segments of each exercise and we're going to repeat it three times, okay? So the next one we're going to do is lean back. I'll show you from the side angle. We're going to get all the way into the front of our chair and we're going to do a modified sit up. So we're going to lean back into our chair and come forward into our chair. Lean back and forward, okay? When we're doing this, you want to Squeeze your abdominals as much as you can. You're going to lean back, forward. I'm not arching my back to lean. I'm using, pretending there is a pole from my hip to my forehead that cannot bend. And it is moving in a straight line, back and forth. Again, no gripping onto it because then you're using other muscles to help you. You want to just rely on your abdominals leaning back and then forward. Forward, two more. Back, forward, last one. Back and forward, good. So moving on, we're just gonna do 10, and like I said, and then we're gonna do each thing three times. So the next thing we're gonna do is our good morning, seated good morning. So now we're gonna sit back into our chair. We're gonna grab that weight again. You're gonna hold it up at your chest, and we're going to lean forward as far as we can without bending our posture. We're going to go forward and you're going to squeeze and come back. So this is actually a slight glute and abdominal exercise. I'll do it from the side so you can see it. You're going to go forward and back. Okay. Again, we don't want to arch our back. We don't want to lean our shoulders forward. We want to keep a maintained posture as straight as you can. Good. Forward and back. Awesome. Ready, three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, next thing we're gonna 
do is leg lifts. This one, you can hold onto a chair. I'd actually suggest even getting a chair that has um, arm, arms, I can't think of that word at the moment, just something to put your pressure on for your arms. <laughs> and you're going to bring up one leg at a time and then both. So you're gonna go one, two, both. One, two, both legs, okay? Just from the side, you can see. One, two, both, okay? What we're trying to do with this one is we're doing a slight crunch of your belly. You really want to avoid using your leg muscles as much as possible and contracting your belly, squeezing, using your abdominals to lift up those legs and try and avoid using your quads. Good. One, two, good. Keep going. Halfway there. One, two. This is a super simple exercise, but with everything combined together, it's a very, you're gonna to start to feel it, those seated crunches. It's awesome. One, two, together. One, two, together. Last one, and flex your feet real hard. One, two, together, hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, all right, now we're gonna do a similar motion. Let's go back for this. We're gonna go heel to toe, heel to toe. So sit as far forward in this as you can, so it's really focused on your abdominals. Heel, toe, be as gentle and fairy-like as you can. So you're pushing all of your abdominals, you're squeezing really tight, your shoulders are up, but you're using your abdominals to keep your legs up. So your heel and then toes. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Four more, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Last one heel and toe. Good. All right. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to do bicycle move motions for 10 seconds and then we're going to start the whole cycle all over and do it again. Okay. So we're going to do bicycles. So it's going to be super simple. You can hold onto your chair and we're going to go just like we're riding a bicycle for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. Awesome. Now we're starting all over again. Grab that water bottle for our oblique dips. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Good. Remember to keep that posture. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch it over. We're gonna feel like a teapot again. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, next thing was our lean backs. Just slight lean back. Again, though, using your hands and up. Good, sit in the front of your chair. Right in front, so you can lean back into it and forward. Good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. If you haven't already, I highly encourage you to turn some music on to keep you motivated during this workout, okay? Next thing we're gonna do is our good morning. So we can grab that weight, put it at your chest. We're gonna go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze, 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 eight, 
nine, go as far down as you can, and ten. All right, back to our leg lifts. All right, like I said, we want to keep that good posture and focus and concentrate on using only your abdominals, okay? You want to isolate your abdominal movement. So you can hold on to your chair. We're going to take it one, two, and three. Nice. One, two, and together. Okay? One, two, together. There you go. This is number four. We got to get all the way to ten. Good. And five. Nice. So we're halfway there. One leg, two legs, together. One, two, together. Okay, three more. Two, together. One, two, together. One, two, and together. Okay, now we're going to do our heel toes. Let's go there back, just so you can see it. We're going to go heel, toe, heel, toe. We don't really want to rest our feet on the ground. We want to keep it as light as possible. Like I said, we call them fairy taps. So you keep your legs elevated the entire time. That way you can start fatiguing your abdominals. If you set your legs down for too long, you're giving your abdominals a break. We don't want to do that. Ready? Three, two, and one. All right. Next thing, bicycles. Ready? No breaks. We want to be nice and warm. Ready? Three, two, one, and bicycles. Good. Ten, nine, don't give up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right. So we just finished the second cycle of everything. Now, last one. This is everything. We're going to our oblique dips. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, next side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, after our oblique dips, we're doing our lean backs. So, do not give up on good posture when you are tired. Good posture is priority. If you stop doing the motion with good posture, that means you are too fatigued, okay? So take a rest before you can go back to doing it with good posture. So we do not want to strain our back in any way or hurt our belly in any way. So good posture is key. All right, five, six, try not to hold on to anything, seven, eight, nine, and all right, our good mornings. Hold our weight at our chest. You kind of want to be up on your toes, placing your weight evenly, going down, forward as you can. Squeeze your abdominals and bring it back up. Good. Back down and up. Make sure when we're up, we're really bringing our shoulder blades back and down. Good. Up. Nice. And four. Five, halfway there. Six, squeeze your abdominals. Seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Okay, to our leg lifts. No breaks. <laughs> Ready? One leg, two legs, together. One, two, together. One, Two, good. All right, almost there. And we're at halfway point of our leg lifts. Good, keep going. Seven, eight, 
nine together and ten. All right, now to our heel toes. We're gonna go heel, toe, heel, toe, three, and four. Breathe in through your nose, up your mouth. Good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, last part of your workout bicycle crunches. Finish super strong. Ten seconds. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, now for a slight stretch. We want to never finish an exercise like this. We always want to stretch slightly after to properly cool down. So we're going to stretch as high up as you can, lift those hands up, take a deep breath in, push out. As you push out, slowly go to your toes. To your toes, to your toes, to your toes. Go as far down as you can and roll it up. Do it again. Up, 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 stretch, 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 reach for the stars and back down. Reach down to your toes and bring it up. Now we're gonna touch our toes 10 times, nice and slow. One, two, good, really slow. Breathe in, breathe out. There you go. Keep doing this, breathe in, breathe out. Really controlled breathing, no quick breath. Very controlled. Good, let go. Three more toe touches, down. Good, and last one, awesome. All right, that is the end of our chair portion of this workout. If you want to keep watching, feel free. If not, if you are just joining in, welcome to part two. Hello, welcome to part two of the abdominal exercise video. If you're just joining in, I'm going to give you a few tips while we're doing these exercises before we get started, okay? Uh, one, when we're doing any of these abdominal exercises, if you feel pain, like a sharp pain in your back, we do not want you to continue doing that motion, okay? There may be something wrong, you may have a tight muscle, or it may be difficult for you to do the motion properly without a person there telling you what to do. So if you feel any sharp pains in your abdominal, that's not from fatigue, or if you feel sharp pain in your back, we don't want you to continue that motion, okay? Just wanted to get that out there. Also, when we're doing these, it is only geared towards your um, abdominal or belly muscles today, okay? So this is a shorter exercise video that you can either tag with one of the other videos afterwards, or it could be for one of those days that you don't have a lot of time, but you still wanna get a good workout in. This is an awesome like 10 minute workout that you can do just isolating your abdominals, okay? So we're gonna get started. We're gonna do each exercise 10 times, okay, or 10 reps, and we're gonna do three sets. I'm only going to do one of those sets with you for the sake of the time, but at least you guys will get to know what I do after my exercises to really focus on my uh, abdominal muscles, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys that, and when this video ends, I know that I want you to just do each exercise two more times. Uh, so that's two more sets of 10 reps. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start with sit-ups. So find yourself a very comfy mat to sit on or carpet. Uh, try not to, I've seen it. I'm sorry if you're gonna laugh at me, but try not to do it on a couch or a bed because that's gonna be too flexible and it's gonna put your body out of whack, okay? So try to still do it on a hard surface that will not move around, but find something for your bum to sit on so your tailbone does not hurt, okay? We're gonna start with sit-ups. I'm not going to do modified sit-ups. I'm not going to do crunches. We are going to do sit-ups, okay, which means your feet are on the ground. Try not to pull on your head. Don't even set your hands there. I'm just going to tell you that now. Don't set your hands on your head. Avoid that. We're going to do regular sit-ups. We're going to go all the way down and all the way up. Ready? 
and begin. One, two, three. I feel like I'm gonna move in this video. I'm gonna slowly slide back <laughs> so far out of this video. All right, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're gonna go to bicycle crunches. Bicycle crunches, do not go fast. This is not supposed to tire you out in that way. We're not gonna be out of breath because we're going super fast. We're gonna be out of breath because we're doing it slow, isolated, and controlled. So what that means is we're gonna bring one leg out at a time and we're gonna reach for the opposite knee, super slow. Do you see how controlled and slow I'm going? Why do we do that, Coach Sarah? Why would we go slow? The slower we are, the more static of a stretch it is, and the more we're going to fatigue our abdominals. What? No, I do these quick. Well, don't. Don't do it quick anymore. Do them nice and slow. One knee to the side. Again, we don't want to pull on our head. We want to just set our hands next to our ears so we can tap with each elbow. I was so busy on giving you tips. I don't remember counting. So we're gonna do five and four and three and two. Last one. Awesome. All right, there's your bicycle crunches. Then we're gonna go to Russian twists. You can do this with a weight or without a weight. I'm going to actually show you a slight modification just in case you need it. Russian twists are with elevated feet. I always like to use a weight. So elevated feet and you switch the weight across your body and set it down and you bring it back over. That would be one, okay? If this causes pain to your back, I know I said in the beginning of the video to not do it. There may be a reason that it hurts your back and it might just be because you've never done something with that much pressure in your tailbone before. If you happen to put a pillow right on the lower part of your back to slightly lean on and it doesn't hurt your back, you can do it. If that does not help, go back to not doing it, all right? But occasionally, we just need that little bit of pressure on our tailbone to be able to do it. So let's get into it. Ready, one, and two, and three. Don't let your feet drop and don't cross them. Do not do that. Keep them side to side. Set them down if we need to for five, four, three, two, one. And then you bring them right back up. No more than five seconds of a break. I'm gonna be a drill sergeant today. Ready, three, two, and one. All right, after our Russian twists, we're going to go to scissor kicks, which are my favorites, okay? What we're gonna do is you're gonna lay flat on your back. You can place both your hands directly under your hips. That is it. You do not get to put them out. You do not get to grab your legs. They are under your hips. We're gonna do 10 seconds of scissor kicks, which is just up and down, ready, go. We wanna do them nice and low to the ground. You don't wanna be up here. This isn't helping anything. Low to the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Two more things that we're gonna do. We're gonna do shoulder taps. So you're gonna be in a high plank position. If this hurt your, hurts your wrist, you can skip this one. Um, and you can do just a low plank, but I highly suggest you try to do your high plank and shoulder taps. You're gonna squeeze your abdominals as tight as you can to balance. Again, don't cross your feet. You're gonna get in this position and we're gonna do slight shoulder taps. We're gonna go tap, tap, that's one. Tap, tap, that's two. Tap, three, nine. Four, try not to lean too much. We don't want too much hips twisting. We want just slightly. There we go. Six. And seven. Squeeze your abdominals. Eight. Nice. Nine. And ten. There we go. Now we're gonna go down to a plank. 
and I'm going to show you a proper plank. Okay, when you're doing a plank, this is what we are not going to do. There's this guy. This is not a plank. There's this guy. This is not a plank. You want to push your shoulders out like you're pushing away from the ground. And you are going to squeeze your abdominals and you're going to bring your legs off the ground. This is a proper plank. You, I know it looks like you would have arch back. You kind of want an arch back in this one. I know, crazy. I've been telling you everything different lately. But slight arch back is okay with this. Okay, so we're going to arch our back. Ready, and go. One, two, three. Squeeze your abdominals. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There is your abdominal finisher. We're going to have you guys do that two more times each thing. So if that if you don't remember, that was, which I'll put on the video. I'll write it all beautiful and you'll see it. It is 10 sit-ups, 10 bicycle crunches, 10 Russian twists, 10 scissor kicks, 10 shoulder taps, and 10 seconds of a plank, okay? That is the of awesome abdominal workout for you guys. Please play music while you listen to my voice. I'm sure it's gonna be much more entertaining than just hearing me count. Uh, please keep looking at all of our virtual rec videos and we have lots more exciting things at www.elcajonrec.org. Check us out. Have a wonderful week.